Power Rangers has always been a series for children and that is why many people think that controversial things have never happened inside or outside the series. The first controversy we should mention is something that many already know, but for those who do not know about these behind the scenes stories, here we are going to tell you about it. Yost, the actor who plays Billy the Blue Ranger from Mighty Morphin, suffered a lot of mockery from some members of the production of the series during that time. The reason for this teasing is because the actor had said that he is gay and in the 90s this was not as normal as it is now. At that time people, specifically men, thought that being homosexual was something abnormal and that it was the worst thing a man could do. This is why many homosexual men were rejected and made fun of by other heterosexual men. Even in those times, the mockery was so severe that many homosexuals preferred to hide their sexuality and pretended to be heterosexual. This led the actor to stay far away from Power Rangers and not to participate in the franchise for a long time. There is a lot of speculation as to who the people were that made fun of the actor, but the reality is that no one really knows who these people were. The good thing about this story is that Yost was able to make peace with the Power Rangers franchise and this is why we could see him in the latest projects. Continuing with the topic of homosexuality, there is another controversy that we have seen in recent years because although it is thought that now there is no rejection, the reality is that there are still people who think that being homosexual is something abnormal. The current thoughts nowadays are that each person can live their life as they want, but that they should not try to show their homosexuality on television. These thoughts were because of the relationship in the last Power Rangers series called Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury. In this series we could see that the Green Ranger and the Orange Ranger have a loving relationship. This angered many fans as they think that this is not right to show it in a series for a children audience even though those fans don't care about other people's private lives. Basically, they say that they can have a relationship with whoever they want in their private life, but that it is not right to show a homosexual relationship in a series for a child audience. Remember that this is not my opinion but the opinions that we have read for a long time from some fans every time we talk about Dino Fury or Cosmic Fury. The reality is that this is a very complex topic to debate and in the end each family must decide what their sons or daughters are going to watch. Another controversial topic is about the actor who played the Red Ranger of Wild Force because this man took the life of another person and was in jail for several years, although now at the time of creating this video, he is free. Ricardo Medina, who appeared twice in Power Rangers playing two different characters, although his most famous character is Cole Evans, was accused of taking the life of his roommate with whom he had been living for two months. According to the information, Ricardo was having a very serious argument with his roommate and in order to keep things from getting out of control, Ricardo locked himself and his girlfriend in his bedroom. After a few minutes his roommate forced his way into Ricardo's bedroom with the intention of hurting him. Ricardo had a medieval style sword and plunged it into his stomach, he called the police and asked for an ambulance, but by the time he arrived at the hospital his roommate had already lost his life. In 2015 Ricardo was arrested for this event, but the police had to release him three days later as they had to do a better investigation of the facts. The version given by Ricardo and his lawyer at that time was that everything had happened in self-defense, but the evidence presented by the prosecutors pointed out that it was voluntary and not in self-defense. In January 2016 Ricardo was arrested again and charged for the incident, at that time he was facing a possibility of life imprisonment. In March 2017 Ricardo pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six years in prison, but in 2020 he was able to walk free. Continuing with this same theme of actors who have been in jail, let's talk about what happened to the mentor of the Power Ranger Samurai. 
The actor who plays this character is named Rene Nafahu and his story has been one of the most shocking for all the fans who heard about this case. Unfortunately, this actor was accused of sexual assault in 2017 and he pleaded guilty to those crimes. The man promised six women that he would give him acting lessons privately and what he did was to sexually assault them, but he told them that this was part of acting. For this crime he had to serve a year of house arrest and since then he has not been heard from again. Previously this actor had worked in Power Rangers Samurai, but he also worked in SPD and his biggest project was in the Matix movies. Despite all that success, the actor committed these crimes because we are all human beings. Our behavior can change and although this is not an excuse to commit crimes, we cannot think that actors are gods who have no evil. Remember that characters are one thing, and actors are something very different. The character may be a great human being, but we fans do not really know the actors and their private lives. The last controversy we should comment on is the salary or payments that many actors have received over the years in Power Rangers and is that the franchise at the beginning had a reputation for paying very little to the actors. The first example we can give is that of the actor who played Zordon, who filmed all his scenes in just one day and was only paid for that day of filming even though they used his image for many years. Many will think this was the right thing to do because in a normal job you get paid for the day you work, but in art you should be paid every time they use your image. Remember that every time the production uses your image, the company makes money and if they don't give you some of this money, then they are taking all of it. The other example is the departure of the actors who played Jason, Zack and Trini because they had asked for a raise to continue participating in Power Rangers. Unfortunately, the owners of the franchise did not agree with this and did not sign the contract. According to rumors, it is said that the Mighty Morphin actors were only paid $600 each week and although this may seem like a lot of money to some countries, in the United States this is very little for an actor who is working many hours a day. The latest example was what happened to Amy, the actress who plays the Pink Ranger in Mighty Morphin. She was about to participate in the special episode to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the franchise, but she didn't show up and this caused a big controversy among all the fans. At the time there were many theories of what could have happened and even though the actress said on her social media that it wasn't for money, this was what many fans thought. Amy tried to extinguish all this controversy with her social media posts, but the reality is that this only increased the rumors. Remember that all these controversies are about things we have seen all over the internet and in the opinions of many fans. This is not the opinion of us on this channel and we respect each person's thoughts. Because of this, I ask you to write in the comments your opinion on any of these controversies to continue to know the thoughts of all the fans of the franchise. If you like this kind of video, like and subscribe for more Power Rangers content.